I'm Shad Me, Shad. I'm president and founder of the National Veterans Foundation. I'm also the author, a co-author and founder of the Vet Center Program, if any of you are aware of that program. It's, I think, just past 32 years. My foundation's 26 years old. Uh, I'm a Vietnam vet. I was U.S. Army Captain Medical Service Corps in 1970, and I'm also one of, also one of the authors of the Vietnam War. Uh, but I'm not here to talk about my foundation. I'm here to really address the families, the first-line receivers of the veteran when they come home. I'm not addressing this group. I'm addressing them head on. Probably the, the biggest, most important moment for a veteran when they come home is when they enter into their community and basically their family. The family is the most important person uh, in their lives. They have spent most of their life there, and now they come back as a war fighter, uh, man or woman. They have changed drastically, emotionally, spiritually, physically in many cases, as we know, but they have changed dramatically. The families have been sitting there waiting, you families have been waiting, for Johnny or Mary to come marching home. And your concept of them is how they left, and they're coming back. You kind of have an idea that it was bad, but as we know, most Americans really don't know what war is about. And now their son or daughter knows. They're scarred. They are now veterans. They've taken the uniform off, uh, at least temporarily, when they come home. And the do's and don'ts are very important. Uh, you don't walk up to your son or daughter and say, I want to hear everything. I want to know everything that happened. I love you. I want to know. First of all, you don't want to hear everything they went through. You can't handle everything they've been through. You really don't want to know. They don't want to tell you. Because many of you have talked about the killing and the maiming that goes on by innocent people that actually get in the way of war fighters. And they have to react. They can't think. When do they think? When they come back. The parents, the children, the significant others, the wives cannot ever conceive, no matter how many books they read or whatever, what this individual is when he walks in there. He hasn't even started the process of coming home, but it starts right there. And what you do or don't do is the most important part of his start of healing. We always forget that. You know, we talk about vet centers and our foundations. That's all way down there. Join in an organization, be with buddies or whatever. But your family's so important. And when you hit head on with them, when you walk through that door, and they don't know what to say, and you don't know what to say, it's, it's a shocker. That in itself is a mild trauma. This isn't PTSD, but it's a trauma, and it's something that has to be, this impasse has to be breached. I know this sounds simple, but this is where it starts. It doesn't start down the road, because every time this is delayed, and the longer the family does not integrate emotionally and mentally with their son or daughter, the more services are going to be rendered down the road. You're talking to someone that has treated more veterans than anybody in the United States the last 40 plus years. Uh, it's standard to immediately address the families. The families need to have the same transition program that they sought to give the soldiers. Now, I've talked to several of the OEF, OIF vets. Some got some transitional counseling and others got some, and it all varies, but none of them, at least what they tell me, really listen. They just wanted to get home. When they get home, all of a sudden, they don't know what to say. Well, what about the families? They need to know that when Johnny or Mary comes in, that they don't know what to say. You need to know something. If you don't know what to say, don't say anything. Someone said listening. Listening is the biggest thing you can do. Give them every opportunity, as much space as you can, the first 30 to 60 days. If the behavior is somewhat appropriate, or, uh, appropriate or, or a little different, that's okay. If it gets inappropriate, you can address it. But today, you have all these resources. Just look in this room, but look at the vet centers, the VAs. You do your homework before they come. What you need to do is to find out all these online services that are available, have them ready, be as knowledgeable about them more so than when Johnny or Mary comes back, because you'll be ahead of the game. That's the only way. You can't treat everything. It's a tendency for parents to do it, and it usually never works. And so be ready. 
Go on the internet, contact the National Veterans Fund, contact all of these organizations. They're out there. We didn't have that when we came back from Vietnam. This is huge. Thank you.